With the robotic system toolbox, you can prototype, test, and verify robotics algorithms by connecting to ROS-enabled robots and simulators such as Gazebo. This video shows how you can use the toolbox to perform inverse kinematics calculations to get the robot joint positions. The toolbox algorithms support workflows related to articulated robots. The first step is to be able to represent your robot. The rigid body tree model is a representation of a robot structure. You can use it to represent robots such as manipulators or other kinematic trees. You can use the robotics rigid body tree class to create these models. You can programmatically build a model for a particular robot. Alternatively, if you have a robot description as a URDF file, you can import it using import robot. The next step then is to perform inverse kinematics calculations on this robot model. The goal of inverse kinematics in this example is to calculate the joint angles for the PR2 arm such that it places the gripper in a desired pose. A sequence of end effector poses over a period of time is called a trajectory. You can create a robotics inverse kinematics object from the PR2 robot object. You can then specify end effector poses related to the task. In this example, the PR2 will reach to the can on the table, grasp the can, move it to a different location, and set it down again. We will use the inverse kinematics object to plan motions that smoothly transition from one end effector pose to another. The actual motion is specified by a series of waypoint joint positions. These configurations are chosen using the inverse kinematics object such that the end effector pose is interpolated from the initial pose to the final pose. You need to solve the inverse kinematic problem for each waypoint. This sequence of waypoints is then sent to the robot through the ROS Simple Action Client. ROS Actions allow you to instruct a robot to carry out a task and monitor its execution of that task. In this case, we will use a ROS action that lets us command joint trajectories for the PR2. Joint trajectories are manually specified for each arm and sent as separate goal messages via separate action clients. The configurations we computed using inverse kinematics are packed into a ROS message and transmitted to the simulated PR2. It then follows the trajectory defined by those configurations and notifies us when it has finished. By commanding a series of trajectories, we can have the PR2 execute a more complicated task, like reaching for the can on the table, grasping it and moving it to a different location, and then setting it down again. To learn more about other features in the Robotic System Toolbox, please visit the product page. You can also navigate to the documentation and examples in the documentation to learn more about this PR2 and other examples shipping in the product. Thank you.